Well, hey, y'all. Thank you so very much for taking time. Come over and visit with me. I'm Ron Fritz is cooking again. I'm Fritz, and guys, it's Friday. So I reckon it's time for another cooking tips and household hints. Guys, and on this video series, we're actually kind of dedicating this to like a, a one recipe type deal. Not where I do like my big cook on Sundays, but where we just try to get you a little single recipe together here, guys. And guys, I was on Facebook last night, and uh, I was talking with my good friend on there, Ms. Lori. And uh, she's out of the great state of Texas, and what a wonderful gal she is. And she put up a picture of beef tips on garlic mashed taters. And I about fainted when I seen that, guys. It looked marvelous. So I'm going to try to recreate uh, her recipe a little bit here. I'm probably going to tweak it a little bit, but I hope I do you proud, Lori. All right, guys. I found these uh, Bob Evans garlic mash, guys. So I'm eliminating a step there. You know how I love my Bob Evans, my macaroni and cheese and my loaded taters. And I came across this today. Guys, I went out and I went to uh, save a lot here and I caught uh, sirloin tip steaks on sale for $2.63 a pound. So I had uh, my butcher back there. She went ahead and she cubed it up for me a little bit. So we're going to saute them off. And guys, I'm going to actually put just a little bit of, uh, uh, I don't have any Montreal uh, steak seasoning. That's what Lori used. I got some of this uh, Mrs. Dash steak seasoning. So I'm going to season them up a little bit with that. Maybe a little bit of paprika. And guys, I like to brown my meat before I put it into the crock pot. We're actually going to be utilizing our West Bend today. And uh, I'll brown it up a little bit and then we'll get it in there. Along with that, she told me I needed to get some uh, beefy onion, uh, this Lipton uh, soup mix here, put down in there, a little bit of garlic. Uh, along with that, guys, I took some uh, better than bouillon. She used uh, beef bouillon, but I, I kind of like this better than bouillon, so I used about two iced teaspoons, and I heated up my water, and I kind of started up to, uh, to get it broke up real good, guys. So, guys, I appreciate y'all watching. And uh, let's get busy. Let's try to do Miss Lori proud. All right, okay, guys. I went ahead and I took my sirloin tip that I had cubed up uh, over here to my plastic container here, my Ziploc container. And I'm merely just going to uh, add some seasoning to it, guys. And here's my paprika. We'll put a little bit of paprika in there. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and use some of the Mrs. Dash steak seasoning. Get that on down in there just to season the meat a little bit. And get this all mixed together. bit of garlic here about an iced teaspoonful get it on down into my grease maybe maybe about an iced teaspoon and a half all right guys you got to watch this stuff it, or it'll, it'll it'll burn on you but all I'm merely doing here guys is flavoring my oil giving it that garlic flavor It doesn't take long for this at all. All right, guys, let's go ahead and incorporate our meat. Kick her heat up a little bit. And I'll stand right here with it and I'll watch it, guys. All right, y'all, how simple was that? Oh, guys, I want to get in on the glove uh, controversy here. Guys, I've never said to anybody that they need to wear gloves in the kitchen for hygiene or any other purposes. I really don't give a damn. Okay, that's it's your kitchen, that's how you cook. Me personally, I'm not really using it for contamination or hygiene or whatever. I don't like touching raw meat. It's just one of my aversions. Okay, guys? Now, I'm sorry that all y'all are arguing about this stupid crap. But uh, anyway, guys, I say to each their own. Wear gloves if you want to. Don't wear gloves if you don't want to. I don't give a damn what you do. <laughs> I'm just cutting up, guys. Just cutting up. Keeping it going. Okay, guys, I done killed the heat to our sirloin tip here. And I think that's looking pretty daggone good, guys. So we're good to go. We're getting, getting ready to get her on down into the west bend here in one okay, second. Okay, guys, we've got our sirloin tip all browned off really well. 
And guys, I'm not going to drain this. There is a ton of flavor in that, that the oil which we infused with garlic and the drippings that actually came out of the, uh, out of the sirloin tip itself. So I'm going to reserve all this. All right, guys, let's go on and get that down into the pool. Okay, mm -hmm. guys, we got the West Bend plugged in, and I've got her turned on high just for the moment here. I want to get it rolling first. But we've got our sirloin tip that we uh, had cubed up over here. And, guys, we uh, actually did it up with a little bit of garlic, a little bit of Miss Dash, uh, a little bit of uh, paprika, and we, and we browned it off in some canola oil. And I added the entire thing that was in that pan to this because it's chock full of flavor, guys. All right, Miss Lori said that she likes to use uh, beef bouillon. Now guys, I prefer this better than bouillon. It's a reduced sodium beef base. This stuff is pretty strong, guys. And what I'll actually do is I'll take my Pyrex and I'll heat up my water first, and then that way I can actually put this in there and it'll kind of like melt and blend in together, guys. Along with that, guys, Miss Lori said she likes to use, uh, basically, I guess it's this uh, beefy onion. That's the first time I've seen this, and uh, it, it smells really well. Um, and we're gonna incorporate some of that in there as well, guys. And this is roughly about two cups of water. So let's go ahead and get our, our beefy onion lifting in here. All right, guys, and what we're gonna do is just give it a simple stir. Man, that smells really beefy. All right, guys, great state of Texas. Yummy, I'm here to tell you that, man, Lori, 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 that looks so daggone good. All right, guys, now what we're gonna do is we're just merely gonna take a, uh, take our ingredients here and we're gonna go ahead and pour it on down into our crock pot. And she said to uh, just barely cover it. So basically that's what it looks like to me. All right, guys, and I'm gonna give this a simple stir. Doesn't that look good already? Man, I'm here to tell you. Oh yeah, and we're gonna make just a, uh, like a little bit of a, a little bit of a gravy with it as well. And it's going to be good. And the thing is, with these type of cuts of meat, like the sirloin tip, um, guys, you, you're wanting to cook it in a, basically you're braising it in a liquid. And that way, it because uh, this is kind of a tough cut of meat. So, and basically it's going to make it a delicious cut of meat. And it's going to infuse with all those flavors. But anyway, guys, I'm running on. We need to get the West Bend on here, get this lid on it. And we need to let her do her thing. All right, guys, once she starts rolling out a little bit in there, I'm going to cut the heat back half. All right, guys, thank you so very, very much. And thank you, Lori, for your wonderful recipe. All right, guys, we've been running about, I don't know, maybe two, two and a half hours or so. Let's just take a quick peek. I'm here to tell you it smells marvelous. Look at that. Mm -mm. I gotta have a taste, guys. It's driving me crazy. Oh, it's hot. <laughs> mm. Oh, it's delicious, Lori. Man, oh man, oh man, what a recipe. All right, guys, we're gonna let her do a thing just for a little bit longer. I think it needs to cook maybe about an hour or so longer, and uh, we're gonna be good to go. And next time you see us, we're gonna be at the table. All right, guys, we are done. Man, oh man, look at that, look at that. Mm -mm. All right, guys. Now let me get this out, and what I'm going to do is make a gravy. And I'm here to tell you this is just tender as tender can be. And that's the only way to do these, this uh, cut of meat here, guys. Brought our uh, sirloin tip renderings back up to a bowl here. And guys, what I did was I just took a, I took a little bit of cornstarch here, and I made a simple slurry, guys. And what I'm going to do is just... Uh, Go ahead and get it on down here into the mix. And what I'm going to do is just sit here and stir it. Alright guys, I believe our gravy is done. Look at that. Of course. Alright guys, we got Miss Lori's beef tips on garlic mashed taters over to the table guys. And I'm here to tell you it is marvelous guys and it's a piece of cake to cook guys y'all got to try this look at this guys is that not beautiful or what that is outstanding along with that we got some maters we got some king hawaiian rolls and got uh, my standby there some peas and carrots and some homemade gravy guys man oh man oh man 
Thank you so very much, Lori. We're gonna get after this right now. All right, guys, check out that goodness. We are ready to dig in. You wanna try it, Mom? Looks good. Garlic, oh, it looks outstanding. Mm. That's delicious, ain't it? Oh, yeah. Does it melt? The, the meat's not tough at all, is it? No, it's pork tender. Yes, I think Miss Lori was on to something good. Mm -hmm. Now, guys, Miss Lori is actually a pit master, and she stands her own against all the men out there. She's actually won two competitions. She's a competition cook. But, uh, guys, let's take a peek here. Now, what I'm going to do is get some of the sirloin tip along with some of my gravy, that garlic mash. Let's try, try a little taste. Wow. It's outstanding. Sure is. Lori, when I seen you post this picture, I knew, what what was it, less than 24 hours ago? I told you I was going to be making this. Oh, my God, yours looks so good. My God, this is this is true blue, stick to your ribs, down home, eating right here, guys. This is outstanding. This is country right here, guys. Mm, I can mow this down. Mmm. Look at that, guys. Next level yum. <clears throat> Give me a little bit of my Hawaiian roll. Mom giving Sarge some carrots. He loves them. Mm. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. You know what? That gravy's good, too, man. Mm -hmm. Dog candy. Dog candy. Yeah. <laughs> They gone now, ain't they, Sarge? <laughs> Guys, you ain't doing it right unless you're sopping. You gotta do a little soppage here. Mm-hmm. That's, that's one of the best meals I've had in a long yeah. time. Guys, I'm here to tell you. Y'all got to do this. It's a piece of cake to do. You can do it with uh, a moderately priced meat. Like I said, I got that sirloin uh, tip and they cut it up for me and I got it for $2.69 a pound. I got enough to feed five people. Uh, guys, the, the taters, I went ahead and took a shortcut. I do love my Bob Evans and they are really garlicky and they're really delicious. So basically guys, it's just stewing up that meat and making a gravy. I'm here to tell you. And just please take that step of, uh, you know, browning your meat first. I'm here to tell you that does make it a lot better. But uh, anyway, guys, thank you so very, very much for stopping by over on Cooking Tips and Household Hints. I, it means the world to me, guys. And one more time, guys, I wanted to say thank you so very much, Miss Lori. It means the world to me, and I appreciate it so very much. You have a wonderful, wonderful recipe. Everything I've seen you post is just outstanding makes me hungry <laughs> and i hope one day to try some of your barbecue and i really would love to try some of that barbecue sauce all right y'all i reckon we're gonna holler at y'all soon bye